So guys, this app right here is by far one of the easiest cryptocurrency application that I've used as a Nigerian. Yeah. Hey guys, Mr. Key here. Now, if you've been following the latest trend, you should know by now that cryptocurrencies have been the biggest financial hit for a couple of years now, even with its you know ups and downs. As a matter of fact, in the past 10 years, Bitcoin has had a better ROI interest than say gold or even most traditional stocks. Now, if you don't want to go with you know Bitcoin and the likes, you can also choose to opt for USDT, which is more like holding US dollars but in stable cryptocurrency. Now, personally, buying USDT is one of the ways that I actually use to shield my money from inflation of the weak <laughs> currencies like the Nera. Now, with that said, Buying cryptocurrency in Nigeria could be kind of confusing, especially if you're a newbie, let's not lie. But like I said at the beginning of this video, I have discovered an app that actually makes all of this process very easy in Nigeria. So guys, this is QDAX. I started using the app a few years back and it's been pretty amazing. And by that I mean the app has everything I need to buy and sell crypto. And like I said earlier, it is actually the easiest way that you can use to buy crypto especially if you reside in this part of the world. And to top it off, QDAX launched a new version of the app earlier this year, and it comes with a couple of new design, a couple of, you know, nice features. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through them. So first off, it's actually the design. And one thing that you should bear in mind is that the new app has been designed for both newbies and professionals alike. For example, I like that they've actually added this tab right here that allows you to quickly access everything you need when it comes to buying, selling, and withdrawing your crypto. Now, another slight improvement to the app newbies would definitely appreciate yeah, is the fact that you can easily access information about crypto at a glance. And guys, I must point out that, you know, the information has been broken down in such a way that it is so easy to digest. So all you have to do is just tap here and you can actually access this information in an Instagram-like format, which I think makes it, you know, very easy to read. Now, for the pros amongst us, one thing that might interest you with um, QDAX or with the new app is the fact that you get access to QDirect and what this does is to let you easily deposit and withdraw Nera from your QDAX account. Now I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first you would need to you know fund your wallet and to do that is pretty simple. Just use one of the quick action buttons right here like I mentioned earlier and then select deposit. Now there you can choose either to fund your wallet in fiat or cryptocurrency. Now for the sake of this video I'm going to be using fiat value so I'm going to select it and immediately QDAX will give me three flexible options to choose from. So we have the voucher method which allows you to deposit with a voucher. You could also use the internal transfer method that lets you you know receive funds from another user on QDAX. I have personally used this method a few times but like I said earlier my personal favorite is obviously Q direct and basically this option allows you to deposit money using a bank transfer and guys you can receive a lot almost immediately now for a bit of perspective you can actually receive the money deposited in your QDAX account it's quite fast anyway I'm going to you know tap on that option and then enter the amount that I want to deposit and all I have to do next is click on the continue button twice now after that I can choose from any of the registered bank accounts I have on there now if you don't have any it's it's very easy for you to add to the list all you have to do is tap here and then put in your bank details anyways once you have selected a bank option just click on continue to finalize the transaction now guys bear in mind that QDAX will actually charge you a minimum processing fee of 100 there which I think based on you know industry standard is one of the lowest but yeah once you're done with all of that you should actually receive your money into your wallet in less than no time and of course with so much ease. Now another feature that I like with the new app is um, the market section right here. So you can tap on here to access the market section and what it does is to show you the top gainers and losers in the market so that you can always know how the market is moving right. You can also choose to you know get price alert on the new QDAX app. So all you have to do is set the coins that you would like to get alerted on and guys the app will automatically update you every time 
with the price. I think this really, you know, helps traders and people who like to move in and out of the market pretty fast. So the moment you get an alert, you know when to sell. And the moment you think, okay, um, maybe the coins are low, you know when to buy and all of that. Overall, I feel that the new QDAX app actually comes with a lot of beautiful features. And most importantly, it allows you to be able to use cryptocurrency without the headache that comes with it, right? Anyways, guys, for those who have not tried the app, you can always download it on the Google Play Store or the App Store. Store. And for those who have, what do you think about the new QDAX app, especially when you compare it with last year's version? I'd like to know your thoughts on this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.